What's up? Fabe and Bake here. Today I'm going to do a review on Mystic Electronic Cigarettes. Um, I've been waiting a while to try these out. My buddy uh, Scott had told me about them. He, he uses the menthol and uh, he swears by them. Um, so I'm going to give them a shot. You can pretty much find them, I think, at pilot gas stations um, and, of course, online naturally. Uh, probably put a link down at the bottom in the description as to where you can order them online if you like them. And uh, also, uh, if, if you want to get them from him too, he sells them, both the menthol and the traditional tobacco. That's what I dig. So uh, this is going to be my first time opening it up. Uh, I've had strep, so I haven't really had a chance to try it out. So it's just kind of been sitting and waiting on me getting better. So here I am. I'm better. So I'm going to unbox this and try it for the first time. So you kind of got to go with the, go through the journey with me. Thank you. I can, can't, can't talk. Oh, well. Anywho, so uh, opening it up, we've got a pretty detailed color instruction booklet. Uh, luckily for me, I already know how to do it. It comes packaged just like so. There's different types of kits that you can buy. Uh, you can buy them with, uh, you know, the charging kits. You can buy them, the charger separate, whatever. <clears throat> I've got a charger that will fit this battery anyway, so I knew that I didn't need that. Uh, so whatever works for you. This kit I think I got for around 10 bucks, something like that, so it's pretty average. So anyways, my kit comes with one battery, one cartridge. The cartridge, honestly I'm not for sure what um, nicotine strength it comes in. I'm going to assume 16 or an 18. I mean, that's just average of what you get at those gas station and tobacco shop types. So it's two end caps. Pop those off. One thing I do like about how the cartridge looks is it has that traditional um, look to it, that weird, you know, color of a cigarette. So you screw it on, like so. That's why it says, got the Mystic logo right there. And we don't know if it's, uh, what nicotine strength level it is. That would be kind of good to know. It's, um, it's a PG made, it's made in China, tested in the US. I don't really know what all that means. That just means it's not U.S. made, which is okay. Uh, it's got a red tip instead of the traditional looking one. Uh, let's see if I got one around here. Yeah, traditional, you know, ash colored. So, here we go. Let's give it a shot. <coughs> kind of chokes me up a little bit. bit of a hiss to it whenever you inhale. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not. I'm trying to gather what this tastes like. It doesn't really taste like tobacco. Um, I'll tell you that. Out of the uh, two or three gas station uh, slash tobacco shops I got uh, my other ones from, or some of them, not all of them, but some of my other ones from, it definitely doesn't have the better flavor. It has probably the worst flavor of them all. Yeah, the, the, the taste, I guess, is a burning something. I don't know. Which I guess a, a taste of burning something is probably kind of hard to come by through the vaping since there is no combustion going on. Um, really good throat hit. Packs a heck of a throat hit, so I'm going to assume it's definitely. 16 or 18 for sure. Uh, uh, nicotine strength. There's a tight draw on it. Um, not really the, the best flavor. I mean, it, honest to God, it's just not. I haven't had one that tasted like this. I had something that was almost kind of similar, but not like this. There's kind of a waxy taste in there too, you know, almost on my lips as well. Maybe an extremely subtle nutty flavor somewhere hidden in there. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? I don't know if you can hear that or not. 
it's hissing like a mother. And it might just be this one cartridge. It very well might just be that one cartridge that's hissing. Certain cards do that. Um, it just happens. Yeah. Um, this is something I'll definitely be giving away. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely be giving away. Um, I won't be using that. So, um, um, I guess I would like to try the, the menthol one since I was a menthol smoker for a few years. Uh, so I definitely have some knowledge in, in menthol. Uh, so I'd probably like to taste, taste that and see what uh, see what that tastes like. Uh, like I said, my buddy Scott, he, he lives by those. He lives by the menthol ones. Uh, he doesn't care for regular, you know, flavored tobacco, which is just fine. Um, so there's my review on it. Um, it's it's the mystic guy. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's just not very good tasting for the regular traditional tobacco. So, um, if you're wanting a cheap little thing to start out on, I would recommend, you know, what is it, 21st century or something like that, or uh, premium, something like that, something else other than this, unless you're doing menthol. If you're doing menthol, just from his testimony, I'd recommend going here. But there you have it. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I'll do uh, some more reviews coming up next. Ugh, burning leaves, they've been baked. <laughs>